if Premier League football teams were cars. Arsenal, milk van. Not a car, but it plods along and delivers in moments, but all in all, it's just a bunch of bottles. Aston Villa, Vauxhall, Cavalier. Big in the 80s, but eventually fell off when bigger vehicles arrived on the scene. Don't see much in the way of success these days. Bournemouth, Jeep Wrangler. Known to get itself out of trouble if it's struggling. Navigates tricky situations and survives when they need it the most. Brentford, Mini Cooper. It might not be big, but they can pack a punch against the big boys when they want to. Brighton, Lexus IS. Reliable and gets the job done. It's also been detailed and protected for their trip to Europe because nobody shits on the seagulls. The seagull shit on everybody else. Burnley, a tractor. Not a car, but works hard and just gets the job done. Has been known in the past to stop the more luxurious cars getting past. Chelsea, Range Rover. Expensive, looks nice, but breaks down when you need it the most. Crystal Palace, Vauxhall Corsa, Boy Racer Edition. Noisy, and you can always hear them from wherever you are. And they usually have cheerleaders cheering them on when they rev their engine. Everton, Peugeot 206. A classic car you still see today, but usually breaks down and you need repairs. Well, mine did back in the day anyway. For them, Chevrolet Hydraulic Lowrider. Well, it's because they're always up and down, up and down. Although at the moment, the hydraulics are working just fine. Liverpool Audi R8. Well, actually, it can either be an R8 or an A1. It's German, like its boss, who's hoping to bring back the R8 Liverpool we're used to seeing. Luton Town Volkswagen Beetle. It's small, but has a bit of something to it. It's got that Volkswagen engine, so not a lot wrong to say about this one. Man City Bugatti Veyron. Powerful, expensive, and really has no negatives. Everyone would love a Bugatti, wouldn't they? Man United. DeLorean DMC. They would love a time machine, but not to go back to the future. To go all the way back to the 90s when they were the best team in England. Unfortunate. Nottingham Forest Ford Capra. Massively popular in the 80s and still has a fan base today. Although with the options available today, fans usually opt to support something more sporty. Newcastle Tesla X. Owned by a billionaire and electric to watch. Not been on the scene for too long, but is definitely here to stay. Sheffield United Ford Fiesta. Everyone knows the car and you still see them around today. It's not everyone's top choice pick but it does get you from A to B, or in this case, B to A. Tottenham Double Decker Bus. It's not a car, but people pay to be on it, and once you're on it, it's just a little bit shit, isn't it? West Ham United Ford Escort. It's just proper old school, and that's what West Ham are. And you used to always see a Clara Escort driving around your village. Wolves BMW 3 Series. They never indicate what way they're gonna go. Win, lose, or draw. Sometimes they like to get right up your but not much else happens really. 